Yeah, a good friend here, the head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, now running the select team, Greg Popovich. What has this uh, experience been like for you here the first couple days? It's been busy. It's been uh, fulfilling. It's uh, been a great learning situation. I mean, we got a lot of players here, as you know, both between the select team and the Olympic team. So, you know, being with all the coaches, with Coach K and his staff, and uh, my staff with the select team, talk great basketball, uh, learn a lot of stuff. Uh, secondly, get to know all these players a little bit more closely. You know, what what do they like? What makes them smile? What makes them tick? Uh, what do they like with each other? What kind of teammates might they be? You know, all that sort of thing. So it's just fun to be around them and watch them and to learn all that. And then lastly, uh, dinners in Vegas are great. Yeah, I, I've heard something about that. Um, but you do look refreshed and relaxed, a little less stressful environment than, than the normal day job. Yeah, you know, for right now, there's no winning or losing. Uh, just practicing and trying to do what we can as the select team to get the Olympic team ready. Uh, it's a it's a tall order, you know that that gold medal they've been winning here for 10 years uh, is not easily won. It takes a lot of work, and uh, USA basketball with Jerry and Coach K has done a great job in uh, setting a tone, building a culture, uh, creating a pipeline uh, where it just has been flowing. But it's not just roll out the ball. Uh, it takes a hell of a lot of work, and I can see it with my own eyes how complicated this all is beyond just coaching and learning the future of USA basketball as you've been doing what else goes into the transition process as coach K hands over the reins to you after this Olympics well it's not going to be like cut and dry at least I hope not you know you think about what he's done for the last decade with this and I would be a real fool to just say okay I'm going to go do it my way now or I'm going to go do this uh, sure, we're all different people, but I'm going to drain him. I'm going to squeeze every bit of info out of him that I possibly can. If he tried to just move too far away from it, uh, I'd pull him right back. Uh, but I don't think he's going to go real far. Uh, he loves this program. He's been such a huge part of it. Uh, hopefully he'll continue and be an integral part of what goes on. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask about one of your new players who we'll see on the international scene in, in Pau Gasol. Uh, what are you expecting out of him, and, and what maybe can you lend intel yet uh, to, to, to the USA team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never coached him, so right. so Tommy Thibodeau will have to do that. Uh, so since he's one of Coach K's assistants, he can give him all the info he needs. I'm telling him about Tony Parker and Mono Ginobili. I'm selling them both out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you did a great job a couple days ago with Tim Duncan. He'll have his day coming up here in a few days. Uh, do you expect him to get emotional? What, what, what do you think we'll see from him? That's a great question. Uh, Timmy doesn't do that very often. Uh, he, he'll feel it. He'll feel it. It'll be very interesting to see how emotional he does get. Uh, it's a, a lonely feeling without him, though, I'll tell you. You know, when you've been with somebody 20 years, first of all, that sounds ridiculous. Uh, I can't imagine that that really happened. Uh, but we know, we know what time does for us. But at this point, uh, I just got to get used to not having him around as part of the culture and his professionalism, his humor. Uh, the days that he was totally tired of me and wished that he was playing someplace else for sure. Uh, I'll miss all of that. I really will. Do you think there's any chance you'll ever be able to get him to come back and, and speak to your teams or, or use some of that wisdom he had with being with you for so many years? You know, I think in some way, shape, or form, he'll be around. Uh, I'm not sure how, how much he's going to want to do that, but it's an open door. He can do whatever he wants. And anything he says to the team will always be on a personal basis. He's not, there's not going to be any room in any podium or any speech, you know, anything like that. He'll just do it his own way by walking around and touching people. Well, Coach, I must say this uh, this worked out quite differently than the last time we spoke, so I want to thank you. But that was at the end of a quarter, wasn't it? No, that was uh, the, the first day of training camp. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. Coach Pop, best of luck this week. You too. Let's Take go care. to dinner sometime. Okay, we will. Do you drink wine? Um, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're buying. Okay, because if you don't drink wine, you're not invited. I'll be there tonight. See you. Okay.